what advice would you give to young people uh, that look at your stellar life, the trajectory of of your career as a human being, as a creator, as a engineer, as a designer, as a incredibly interesting personality that, who's working on an autobiography, what <laughs> advice would you give them? Um, like how, how to make their way in this life? Uh, maybe high school students, maybe college students on um, how they can have a career they can be proud of or a life they can be proud of. Oh my God, Lex. Mm. You know, it's, and this is not the advice, but there are very few moments in a career that feel as good as you think they are going to. And there are very few moments of feeling really proud of yourself. Like, I feel like I often just feel like I'm not doing it well enough or big enough or, and now I just had one of those moments, like hearing you say that, where I'm like, oh, I'm actually doing okay. Um... I think my main advice is enthusiasm is a much more potent fuel in life than duty. And just because something is boring doesn't mean that it's important. I kind of realized for myself that like I'm so much better at the things I enjoy. But school doesn't really teach us how to stay excited about something and how to stay enthusiastic about something. And if you can find that, then like you got to gold mine of potential. So I kind of had to reprogram myself to be like, just because this is fun doesn't mean that it's not important. Because mm-hmm. I had so much guilt about it in this weird way or where I'm like, no, this is too fun. This can't be work. And I'm like, no, it's still work. The boring stuff isn't more important. And the, the vice versa, as you said, just because it's boring and hard doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. Yeah. That's interesting. I, um, I'm i gonna have to take that advice and think through it. Cause I'm, my genetically I'm built a little bit like if this is really unpleasant, it's probably good for me. Yeah. And it's and a it's dangerous just... thing to, to think. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not. Yeah. <laughs> no, and it's like, what comes really easy and where do you have that kind of effortless momentum and enthusiasm? And that is kind of the sweet spot. I think that I'm also really happy that I spent time trying out so many different jobs. I mean, I had, I've had so many different jobs before I did it and I would do things for a year and then I quit and it feels like I tried on a bunch of different pants and you're like, okay, I can kind of wear this, but they're like not super comfortable or I don't love the look of them or whatever. And now I feel like I found this pair of pants that just like fits me perfectly Mm -hmm. and that perfectly caters to my strengths and my weaknesses. Like I used to work as an editor for the Swedish government. And I remember thinking like, oh, I need to be okay that not a lot of things are happening and that things are moving slowly and that the work is kind of like monotonous. And then I realized like, or maybe I should be in a workplace where it's a benefit or strength that I want a lot of things to happen and that I can handle a high speed. Yeah, You know, and I think that is really such a good question to ask as well. Like, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? And in what context are most of these things strengths? And if you know that, if you know the measurements, you can find the right fitting pants. Yeah, or the right suit, yeah. as Lex will tell you. Um, what do you think is the meaning of life? Oh, I don't think there's any meaning. It's, it's a meaningless void? No, just that it doesn't have any meaning doesn't mean that it's meaningless. I don't think that there's this big grand meaning. I think um, a more important question is what brings you substantial joy in your life. To me, it's the relationships with people that I have. Love? Yeah. I mean, love in all different kinds of form. It's um, I'm really working on figuring out how to build more community, especially in a society that isn't really made for it. Um. I want more passive hangouts with people where like, I just want people who are there. Together? To get high? No, together. <laughs> to get high? Maybe to together. Get high. Yeah. I mean, I like, I I think seeing somebody for lunch and kind of shooting the shit and what's what's the latest with you is great. But like what I want is somebody to just roll up in sweatpants 
and open my fridge and like be like, what are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe I'll read a book. Like, yeah, I think that. Sharing kind of like silence. Sharing silence, being alone together. And that just that type of community, I think, is what I'm really seeking out now. Um, Because I think, yeah. And also like working on a goal, on a joint goal together with other people. I think being a YouTuber can be really lonely. Um, I mean, as much as I'm working with a team, it's like, yeah, I just want to work in a bigger project and kind of have that sense of, wow, we're like doing this together. Because I think that accesses my pride a lot better than just being proud of myself. It's so much easier for me to be proud of a team than for me to be proud of myself. That's probably good advice for people who are doing creative work on YouTube too, to yeah. to work on to work on a team. Yeah, and just choose, ch try to do things. <laughs> take it from the queen of shitty robots, but like try to do things with former integrity. Queen. Former queen of shitty robots, do things with integrity. Like anything you do on the internet is kind of. I think of things as tattoos on my internet and on my internet self and i'm i'm really happy that i said no to some things early in my career that i know that i would have regretted now and you know just think of it in the long term like going viral is overwhelming and so stressful and so fun but like so intense and i'm i'm really happy that i managed to build that into a more long term career than just have it be something that passed and come down from the the viral moment and maintain your humanity. Yeah. And also really deliberately defining what success means to you. Because there are so many reasons or so many definitions that other people will give you. And especially when you're working on the internet, there are just numbers upon numbers that are like, you're doing well, you're not doing well. And something I'm really happy that I did was early on, I really try to think of like, what does success look like for me? And I realized that it's not having the world's biggest YouTube channel. It's being proud of the projects that I put out and having full say in how I spend my time. Like that is the most important thing to me. And if I had a huge YouTube channel and I was making so much money, but I kind of had this machine run me rather than the other way around. Like to me, it's so important to be able to wake up in the morning and be like, I don't want to do this anymore. And for that to be okay. Um, and I think I defined that for myself early on and I've really tried to live by it and made decisions after that. And I'm really happy that I did that. And also your with, with uh, the store, with the design you're doing now, you're putting a little bit of love in the products you create at mm -hmm. scale. I mean, that's what Johnny Ive did. Mm -hmm. That's the cool thing. So you can create something beautiful and then people can share that love at scale. Yeah, it's, it's terrifying and beautiful and I'm so here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it too. Uh, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of who you are. I'm a big fan of everything you do, of putting yourself out there, putting your love out there in terms of the designs you create. Also, just because I'm a fan of robotics, I think you inspire a lot of people. I think the shitty robots are actually incredible robots. Mm. And uh, it's incredible engineering. That's all, that's that's the best combination of design and engineering and fun, all of it together. So thank you for doing that. You're, you're I'm a big fan, you're an inspiration, and thank you for sitting down with me. This is awesome. Thank you so much for having me.